What's up, Fight Fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder, according to BBC Sport, the WBC to hold a hearing over ring death comments. Okay? Um, the WBC World Heavyweight Champion has been faced criti for criticism for stating he is trying to get a body on my record. Now, President um, Suleiman Mauricio said that the comments were regrettable and against the organization's ethics. Now, he says his metaphors are against the WBC code of ethics and will be addressed in the hearing. And he said, I have known Wilder for a long time and he is not the person he portrays in such comments. Hmm. Well, listen. Like I tell people, you got to be careful what you ask for with Deontay Wilder. If you look at it, you know Deontay was on pay-per-view, his last pay-per-view event. It was the biggest fight that he had thus far. Um, he got paid the most money that he's made. And now he's fighting as mandatory, which is a person that he has... A beef with he has a, he had an altercation with him now we know this but when you say hey I want a death I want a, 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 a body on my record when you're saying that I want to kill somebody in the ring that is regrettable um, however I understand that a part of that is Deontay Wilder trying to sell a fight and then a lot of people would defend Deontay's comments with him saying hey I'm trying to sell this fight because this fight is not on pay-per-view this fight is not the, a bigger fight than the fight you had so it's kind of like you went up and then you're coming back down in competition as opposed to fighting Dominic Brazil but it is this mandatory in his defense okay um, and I guess he needs something to spice up this fight now those would be the excuses. But unfortunately, that's not an excuse. You don't say things like that because you don't know what can happen in the ring, especially in a sport that that could happen to. And you're boasting saying that this is what you want to happen. You're not helping yourself if you actually go in and hurt or kill Dominic Brazil. Okay. Now, it's not the smartest thing. Okay, but let's be honest. Deontay Wilder is not known to say the smartest shit from time to time. He says he says what's ever on his mind. Okay, but the problem is there was an altercation. The problem is he has documented and told Dominic Brazil, "You're lucky you almost lost your life that night over something that happened outside the ring." So that is premeditated again, guys. That's something that could be backed up by media. Okay, real media, the kind that's documented, the kind that you say and let your mouth write a check that your ass can't cash. Okay, and that's exactly what's happening in this particular situation because Deontay Wilder saying this, you know, according to this source, uh, Suleiman is going to back Deontay all the way. I don't think that they're going to strip him, it's not that serious, but it is a hearing, and there was, um, speculation there were interest on the comments that Deontay Wilder stated a couple years ago when he was on the breakfast club I think that was last year and he was saying I want a body in the ring and all this shit but now there's a guy that you got into an altercation with an altercation with and and you're saying you're telling this guy that hey I want to kill you I want to I want to bury you get your funeral arrangements dude that is not smart and if that happens, speak it, believe it, receive it. If you, if all that comes to pass, you've just wrote a check, your ass can't cash. So that's one of those things where infamous or the, how to say, the desire for recognition or exposure, that's a sign of it going too far. Again, a lot of people like knockouts. Knockouts are great to see. 
I want to see a knockout from time to time, but you coming in saying and telling and boasting and gloating on what you saying you're going to do to this fighter, I'm going to kill you in the ring. I'm going to, you know, and a lot of people can, like, again, hey, he's just building the fight, okay? But this was more than just building the fight because you had an alter situation with this particular fighter. So the police were involved anyway. So if something happens to that magnitude, they can hold him reliable for that. And he's not thinking about that. You know what I'm saying? You know, but I, at the end of the day, I, I don't think the hearing means shit because the WBC has to show me that they still have a backbone, that they still have some balls. Now, I would be very surprised if he was stripped or whatever because of the, the you know the going against the ethics but that's just talk they're not even saying what action they're going to make take place in this hearing it's just saying oh they're going to have a hearing about Deontay Wilder's comments so what so me reading this you know it's sparking interest but it could be something at the end of the day that they must say and must put on for to make people think that hey we are actually a concerned sanctioning body you know what I'm saying so that's my take on that. You guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.